Hello everyone. It's never too early, it's never too late to work towards the healthiest of you. How are you all? It's good. It's good to see you and meet you all again. Myself Rashmi Mishra from Kamal Convent Senior Secondary School is here to have a talk about the recently epidemic disease which is there all over the globe, coronavirus. You all have heard about COVID. COVID-19 is nothing. It is coronavirus infectious disease. And you are aware this is about coronavirus, which is a virus which was earlier called as SARS-CO2. SARS-CO2, as we have already aware of it, this is a respiratory disease, severe acute respiratory syndrome. And now the same is coming up as COVID-19. The infectious agents of, agent of this disease is virus. Now this virus, as we all are aware of it, viruses come to our body as a host. We are host for them and they come to us as a guest. They are coming as a guest. We are welcoming them by certain measures which we are not taking. And then they take up our whole body machinery and start living on our, on our body and its expenses. You must be aware that all over the globe, the number of registered cases till date, few hours back, is about 96,782. And out of that, about 53,784 have already recovered. So the number of casualties are more, but still comparatively, we are trying to control it. And sub it's a very good thing, very encouraging thing to know that in India, the number of cases are just 30. And that's quite a less in number, but that has happened because we people are very much aware of how to prevent the disease. So here we are to have just common tips, usual tips which we are having in our day-to-day -day life also. And we will take care about of these steps, these steps once again. First and foremost important thing is you'll have to look into the symptoms and the basic symptoms which the coronavirus is showing when it enters into your body is headache. You will have mild to heavy fever. There will be respiratory problems like there can be breathlessness. Of course, breathlessness will not be there in young children, but as the disease progresses and the number of viruses goes on increasing within the body, the respiratory problems and breathlessness will increase. So definitely that will come to tiredness also. So if you are coming along with any of these symptoms, the first and foremost thing is you should report it to the doctor. Go and get it checked, whether it is corona positive or negative. Even whatever may be the case, positive or negative, you have to take certain preventive measures. Avoid coming into contact with the other people. If these symptoms are not visible, then also we have to take preventive measures. Avoid going to crowded places. If you cannot avoid going to a crowded place, then definitely wear a mask. But that mask cannot be a normal surgical mask. It has to be the mask N95. Because the famous Dr. William Hafner, who is a specialist in infectious diseases, he recommends this because this is N95 respirator. So we can very well know if it is a respirator, this mask will allow us to respire also well. And at the same time, it will avoid the infection entering into our body. That we can do wearing the mask. But at the same time, there are certain precautions and preventive measures which have to be taken. First and foremost thing, you need to have hand hygiene. When we say hand hygiene, it means thoroughly washing your hands, not, not just in a hurry at least for 20 seconds and that too not with plain water it has to be with a disinfectant any kind of a disinfectant which is alcohol based now there are a number of good disinfectants available in the market under the name of sanitizers some of them are like it can be Clorox or it can be something like Lysol or something like that so any brand whichever you are picking up please go through the contents of it and find out it should be an alcohol based. If a sanitizer is without alcohol, that will not so solve the purpose of washing the hands. So please take that care. Second important thing is the respiratory hygiene is very important. We are washing our hands, cleaning our hands, but at the same time, respiratory hygiene is equally important. That means you should never 
you uh, use your hands to wipe your mouth or to wipe your nose or even touching your eyes because any kind of an infection which is there on your hands may it be a corona virus or even some other virus or any other bacteria that will enter into your respiratory tract because we all know very well that there's a common pathway like the fluids from the eyes nose and mouth are connectively going to the throat uh, these portions are connected so obviously the infection will transmit it to your throat so these are some of the tips if you are suffering from some sort of a cold or a uh, flu infection then definitely need not worry about it that this is only corona virus so remove that fear from the mind but at the same time we have to be alert enough alert enough to get it checked also go to the doctors and get it checked get the pathological test done here in bhopal we have the testing facility in aims so you can get it verified and accordingly you can go for a treatment keep yourself isolated keep yourself protected be aware of your health health is very important for us because is sharir ka agar humne dhyan nahi rakha is sharir mein hi humko saalon tak rehna hai ye sharir hi hai jo humko hamari manzil tak pahunchayega to kripya apne sharir ka dhyan rakhe kyunki isi sharir mein humko nivas karna hai as mahatma gandhi also said it is the health which is the actual wealth which is the real wealth not the coins of the gold and silver so have a happy healthy and a bright life god bless you all